joined now by SIUE Cross Country Head Coach Eileen McAllister as we do a preview for the SIUE Cross Country Challenge taking place on Friday. And Coach, obviously running at, at home for the first time this season, uh, just talk about being able to run here on the, our tough SIUE course. Uh, we're definitely excited uh, to run at home in front of our home fans. Um, it is a challenging course and we're ready for it. Uh, we've done more training on out there at this point um, in the year than we have in, in past seasons, so they're definitely ready for it. Uh, we definitely look at it as an advantage, um, being at, having access to it uh, for regular training purposes. Um, so I think they're ready and they're very excited. Um, obviously, having run two weeks ago in North Dakota, being able to run at home and talk about uh, the, the atmosphere running at home. It should be a nice Friday afternoon. Um, be able to get the fans out to support. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, at North Dakota being so far away, we didn't really have much of a fan base up there. So we're definitely excited to run in front of our home crowd. Uh, the track team will be out there, um, you know, as well as the rest of the SIU community. And um, like I said, the kids know the course, um, the ins and outs of it. So um, like I said, should be beautiful weather. We've had a great fall so far, so the course is in excellent condition. So we're excited. Uh, Talk a little bit about uh, both the men's and women's sides. Uh, just some people that have kind of stood out in training the last couple weeks that uh, really have an opportunity to, to step out and uh, shine a little bit this weekend. Sure. Um, you know, the men, um, training's been going well in general for both sides. Uh, the women have had a few bumps now, um, so we'll be out a, a couple people. Uh, Kayla Griffin will be out, and she was our number three at North Dakota. Um, Emily Conlin will also, will also sit her to rest her a little bit for this race. Um, so those are uh, two impact people that are definitely in our top five, not our top seven. So that will that will um, you know ha have an impact for us on the team wise. But the women being so young and there's a lot of mixing it up, especially they kind of had some breakthroughs this week in practice as well about um, you know some people getting into the mix that weren't there previously. Um, Dee Dee Lofton um, should be an impact player for us, and um, so I'm looking to see what she can do. Uh, she's made she's made some huge breakthroughs. Um, of course, you've got Afternoon running well. Um, Claire Brown running well, Hannah Lee, Ellen, um, Yana, um, all those girls running well. And um, then you got, like I said, the rest of the young group that's kind of mixing it up and, and um, getting their legs back under them and stuff like that. Um, the men's side, you know, team-wise, we just have a great team chemistry right now. I think they really understand where they need to be as a team um, and how they can work together to, to, to get there. Um, they just have a really good pack. Um, uh, Mark, uh, training's been going well for every, everybody, and again, improving every week, um, year to year. Big difference from last year at this time. Um, Mark's been running well. Uh, uh, Campbell, Aaron, Nick's fighting a little bit of a cold, a little bit of the freshman, um, you know, adjusting to the training kind of thing. Um, but I think he'll be ready to go. Um, Sean Dillard, JD Wynn, all those guys, you know, are definitely going to be um, ready to go, I think, based on their training and, and their attitude. Um, you know, they're, they're really amped up to compete against the OBC schools that are going to be there, SEMO uh, and Murray State. Um, definitely excited and feel like they have something to show them um, for, for this final year before we can actually compete with them at that conference. Uh, very good, Coach. We appreciate the time, and uh, we look forward to uh, the meet tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon.